And I think a lot of people are kind of caught up in that, always chasing the next experience, the next shiny object, but not internalizing, not receiving it when they finally get to it. And that then breeds a certain discontent. I mean, these tendencies can obviously be manipulated by a consumerist-oriented culture to keep people mm -hmm. wanting the next thing. And mm -hmm. that's why I think it's very important to help ourselves stand against that stream and to say enough is enough, uh, you know, and to appreciate that both. It's a very important point. We can still aspire and dream big dreams and be ambitious and determined and even committed to things like social justice, a world that's prosperous and just for everyone, not just for the few. Uh, we can aspire in those ways while feeling content along the way. And that's a very important point. There's this myth that somehow you lose your edge if you feel contented. Actually, there's all kinds of evidence that as people feel content and they, they kind of rest in a resilient well-being in their core, they actually become high achievers. They become the superstars. Uh, getting all stressed out and driven is a sh good short-term strategy. And, you know, I've been there. If you need to get through grad school or, you know, the first year of your kid's life or a tough quarter in, in work, or all right. But year after year, you can't sustain it. You're going to wear down. And the magic of creativity and vision and possibility and agility, which is so needed these days in a modern business world, a VUCA environment, right? Mm -hmm. a volatile, mm -hmm. uncertain, complex, and ambiguous, da -da, a VUCA world. You know, not resting in an underlying sense of resilient well-being in your core will wear down your capacity to really achieve at your highest level, as well as make you suffer along the way.